Hi everybody, today we are going to deal with the topic solar power satellites. Before going on to the topic solar power satellites, let us know why do we go for solar power satellites. Since the invention of electricity, we have been using conventional energy sources such as coal for the production of electricity. But it is time to shift from conventional energy sources to renewable energy sources because we all know that the uh, conventional energy sources such as coal are going to extinguish within few hundreds of years. So there is no choice for us other than to shift for renewable energy sources. There are a many number of renewable energy sources available in nature in which solar is the predominating one. The electricity production through solar is of two types. One is land based, other is space based. In land based, as we know that we are going to put some solar collectors that are solar plates and then it receives solar energy and converts it into electricity and then we are going to use that one. But it is facing some disadvantages such as uh, it is limited uh, period of product production that is sunlight is available only in the daytime so we can't produce in the night time other thing is it is affected by the climatical conditions during rainy seasons or smog etc we can't produce or we can produce less amount of electricity through this land based process so in order to cover all these drawbacks we go for space based solar power production in order uh, so this solar power satellites are the devices or the equipment which is used to produce sol uh, electricity in the space i think now it is clear why what are uh, why do we go for solar power satellites here are the contents of my presentation in this presentation i am going to explain you solar what are solar power satellites types transmission advantages disadvantages conclusion as we have a brief introduction uh, we might have a knowledge that what now what is meant by solar power satellite so it is a satellite that collects solar energy and convert it into electricity those are the three terms we can see there solar power satellite a satellite which collects solar energy and then converts it into electricity is nothing but a solar power satellite this one is a solar power satellite the production of electricity using solar power satellites is a process as we all know that a process involves some steps here the number of steps involved are four first one is collecting solar energy and converting it into electricity other is converting this electricity into radio waves next thing is converting radio waves back to electricity and final step is utility here we go in detail with these four steps and then we uh, just go with the uh, brief description and then the advantages disadvantages and conclusion now the first step is collecting solar energy and converting it into electricity this is a usual step what we do on the land based production also that is we are going to put some solar panels and the solar radiation which falls on that panel is converted it into electricity by this solar cells with the effect of photovoltaic effect so this is the process that is going to be happened in the first step these solar panels are placed on the surface of the satellites and now we have a plenty amount of electricity in the space but my solar power satellite is placed in the geostationary orbit that is about uh, 
greater than 32,000 kilometers from the surface of the earth. So I have produced electricity there but I have to use it on the earth. So how do we get that power delivered to earth? The only uh, answer is we have to lay down the wires from space to earth. Just think is it possible to lay electric wires or transmission wires from space to earth? So it is a quite impossible thing. So we have to go for an alternative that is we have to convert this electricity into some other form and then reconversion takes place and there we can use. So this is the plan for which now the, uh, we use two special devices called as a magnetron and rectina. In this first one is magnetron. A magnetron is a special device which takes input as electricity and converts it into microwave beam output sorry it is radio wave beam output so it is clear that now the collected solar energy is converted it into electricity and then this electricity is converted to radio waves by the use of this magnetron now these um, radio waves are also on the space so the magnetron not only converts but also transmits the microwaves onto earth so this magnetron now sends microwaves onto earth what we require is electricity but what we got is my uh, radio wave beams so we have to again convert these microwaves back into electricity for which we use a special device called as a rectina rectina is of uh, two words that is rectifying antenna so what does this do this just converts so uh, radiation uh, radio waves back into electricity whatever the radio waves that are coming from the space through this magnetron are made to fall on the rectina and this rectina is going to convert the microwaves in back into electricity now here we have the output as electricity and then it is given to local grids this is quite simpler in explanation but not in real life at last we have completed the four steps so let us uh, know at a brief the solar energy is made to fall on the solar power satellite and this collects the solar energy and converts it into electricity and here is a magnetron that converts the electricity into radio waves and transmits it onto the earth here is a special device called as a rectina it collects the microwave beams or radio wave beams and converts back into electricity and then it is given to utility as this uh, explanation is very simple we can uh, just see the four steps here involved but there happens to involvation of many many technical concerns in this solar space power as a coin has two sides everything will have its own advantages and disadvantages in the first the uh, introduction we have uh, said some of the disadvantages of land based solar power so now let us see are these uh, disadvantages covered in this or not first disadvantage what we mentioned earlier is it is limited to daytime production as we all know that there will be no day 
a night in space. So these are advantages in production of 24 into 7. And second is land based is affected by climate. And it is also known that we are uh, there will be no climate or environment such as we have on the uh, earth as in space so there will be minimum impact of uh, environment and the uh, best advantage over solar is it is zero carbon dioxide emitting one so there will be no pollution or minimum pollution what are the disadvantages it is somewhat costly and hundreds of satellites are required and it is also bulk in size these are some of the disadvantages so by this what we have learnt a solar power satellite is used to produce bulk amount of electricity which is discontinuous and also is from a renewable source and is reliable so to produce bulk amount of electricity we can use solar power satellites our power is our future so go green thank you